I was I, had, I was busy on Saturday, so I wasn't able to really keep track of what happened on Saturday. Jimmy, could you just refresh my mind what happened? Fans on their feet here at Madison Square Garden. Petrie with one final shot. It misses the net. Henrik Lundqvist throws his arms up in the air. The Rangers win the game 3-1. The series 4-2. They move on to the second round of the Stanley Cup playoffs. And Montreal goes home. You, you want to feel better, Bruins fans? You want to feel better? I felt better immediately on Saturday night. On Saturday night, after Montreal lost, that's the first time I said all year, well, now this really is gravy. Now it's really all gravy. It's all gravy. Hey, DJ, Gasper, what happened to the difference maker? I, I, what happened to the difference maker there? What happened to Claude? The guy who's won one playoff series in four years. What happened? He couldn't... Oh, he couldn't change the... Oh. So they just flamed out and lost in the first round. Oh, it's surprising to me, given how much massive success Claude has had year in, year out in the playoff. Oh, oh wait. I'm sorry. What? He's only won one playoff round in four years? Uh, never mind that. He's one of the best coaches in the in the league. You guys were right. The Bruins weren't going to get better without Claude. How could they get better without Claude? He's going to go to Montreal and have success. You'll see. I, I read all you guys. Wait till he goes to Montreal and has success and we see what the Bruins are. What happened on Saturday? Oh, God, that was so wonderful. Oh, what? You're saying Montreal couldn't score when it counted? Oh, I've never seen that before with Claude. Oh, what do you mean, Felger? The Bruins were always near the top of the league in scoring. No, nah, not when it counted. Not when it counted. When the Bruins got in big games with Claude, they couldn't score. Usually. That's what happened with Montreal. 11 goals in the six games. That's not going to get it done. 11 goals. You only had four goals in the final three games against the Rangers. You were up two games to one and gagged it away because you couldn't score. That's surprising for a Claude Julian coach team. I never would have thought that. In fact, until you said it, I didn't realize it. I looked it up. The Bruins scored more goals than the Canadians did. No! Shocker. No! 13. How could that be? 13. 1-3. 13. If you say Claude can't coach offense, you don't know what you're talking about. <laughs> Look at where they rank in the league. Or you could just watch the games. Watch Cloach teams in big games and tell me how they do goal scoring wise. Last time he was in the playoffs here, they scored one goal over the final two games. One. So I, uh, who's who could you could you possibly be surprised that Montreal bows out early because they can't score? I've seen that story before. Oh, and how that Shea Weber trade work out for you? <laughs> oh, put it back up, Jimmy. Please keep playing that. How did that work out for you? Na 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 na. This makes me a loser. I'll admit it. I'm a loser. My team didn't win. The Bruins lose. But I take more satisfaction in you losing than my team winning. That makes me a loser. Yep, I'm a loser. Murray, they have a word for that, don't they? No, it's just sports shot and Freud. Something you should no, enjoy. No, it's really being a loser. My team sucks. Montreal's better than the Bruins. But you lost again. How did that Shea Weber trade work out? That's smart. Let's trade one of the most dynamic, explosive players in the league because... Why did you do that again? Why? Because he didn't tell you he was donating money to the hospital or something? What, what was it? So wait a minute. You kept your coach, but not P.K. Subban, and then you fired your coach? Just to hire another coach who also doesn't know how to teach his team to put the puck in the net and bowed out in the first round again. That's a good move. Where's P.K. Subban right now? Second round. Second round. Oh, that's right. He swept the Blackhawks. And he's in the second round. 0 oh, 2 2 plus 4. They do deserve that with PK. I mean, that they handled that. That really was. It's more about PK than it is the Blue Blanc and Rouge. No one is bigger than the Habitat. You asshats. Skated 132 shifts in the series against Chicago, more than any other Pred. Just lose. Just lose and go home like you have for the last 20 years. Just continue to lose. And what happened to the difference maker? What happened to the coach? And no one else who could coach the Bruins and coach them to success. No one. So certainly when he goes to Montreal, has a better goalie, a better team, a team that's you know, absolutely set up for success, and they bowed in the first round because they can't score. Well, that's... And you can say they caught a bad break because they had to play the Metropolitan Division, which is, yeah, that's too bad. What well, bad break. Sorry. That sucks. Sorry, guys. So that always makes